Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back on this whole Pontiac, gonna work on it a little more. Um, I, I mentioned in the last video here, these, uh, I got some two inch drop spindles coming. Well, them babies showed up. I do have to make a, I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna run and make a trip to the old uh, parts store, get a bunch of, just get a bunch of parts, uh, a bunch of stuff to keep the progress on this old car moving. at uh, pick and pull and I'm gonna see if I can find a few things for this for this car and for another project there too so uh, I'm gonna f I'm looking for an ECU and uh, throttle body and some the factory throttle cables they seem to work real well for me so let's see if I can grab some of that today but we'll pop in here and see what we can find okay so I did find um, so far here a uh, uh, throttle cable I'm going to take it has the right throttle body other than this one's for a 5.3 I think I think the uh, other ones I think the six leaguer's got a bigger a little bigger throttle body so I'm going to try and find one of them but got this cable as uh, one 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 part down a couple more to go yeah that place is good you just gotta you know you just gotta be okay with spending a little time searching and digging around and find what you gotta find but um yeah, they had what I needed, a couple throttle cables, an ECU, throttle body. And like I said, you're not going to get anything cheaper than that. So it worked out well. We'll, uh, we'll go get a few more parts and we'll get, we'll get the heck out of here. We're just going to pop into JB's Power Center and grab a few more things. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see if they got what I'm after too. Just, I think little things like um, just some gaskets and some little things like that. But pop in here, see what they got. All right, everyone, made it uh, made it back with all our parts here. Go. So the big thing we got is a bunch of a uh, bunch of pipe and stuff to make this exhaust. We got some uh, some fuel lines, some exhaust hangers, some brake line we need. <clears throat> this here's the this here's going to be the harness to make that engine work. It works real well um, from what I've done in the past. Uh, works real well with those engines. Um, we got a fuel pump. Um, like I said earlier, we got the spindles we got to put on. Got a whole bunch of, uh, for the steer column, little drop deal. And then we got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of steering stuff, a bunch of links. Got some D-rod, sauce mounted. We got a transmission dipstick here. Maybe this actually turned out pretty slick, I found. It's the, uh, what do they call this thing? An, an LS installation kit. So anyways, it, it converts your sensors so you can run uh, different gauges and stuff. It helps convert that anyway, so. Yeah, so we got we got enough to keep us going here for a while. At pick and pull, we grabbed the throttle cable for it. Uh, a couple of the other things I got at pick and pull were for another project I'm going to be doing here soon too, um, and you guys will see that. We're we'll back on this baby tomorrow um, after work. There, I'll get back on it and we'll put we'll put uh, I'm going to put these spindles on and and then just start getting some stuff done. Hopefully, so um, see you guys tomorrow. All right, everyone, welcome back. I uh, just got home from work, so I'm gonna plug away on this old car for a little bit here. I'll show you though what I got going on. Show you guys here, so the steering. I gotta sneak past that pump and stuff. <clears throat> I do have to change that pump because that's a hydro assist one. We're not gonna use that one, but got this knuckle here. And then I'll show, oh, the other thing I'll show you too, um, this cable, throttle cable. I find the, the factory one real nice because then it just, you know, wherever you decide, mounts real nice. And I got thinking about it too. <clears throat> We're talking about cruise control. So this is the this is the the cruise control cable. I didn't grab one, but I think I'm gonna go get one and see if I can figure out how to run that module. I'll figure out how to run that module and we'll see if we can make this thing have cruise control. It'd be kind of nice. And if it works, I think I'm gonna do it to uh, a couple of these other trucks too. Why not? It'd be nice to have cruise control. But the major thing what I got here is uh, another one of these knuckles. Got some D shaft, another knuckle, couple, um, couple supports. I got to get that baby routed so I can get this uh, steering column in. These little fellas here turned out are, are I remember them being real expensive, but um, they're like even more expensive now. Those are expensive little fellas. And then the other thing we got here too is nice is uh, goes on the column. It clamps over the column shaft. And, and it'll mount to the bottom of the dash, make that uh, 
make that column installation pretty nice. Start putting this stuff together, see how it goes. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put these spindles on anyways first, so that that's done and I can get these wheels straight. I'll go ahead and work on these spindles, get these babies swapped out to the two inch drop ones. All right, I'll show, see if you guys can see the difference here. So essentially, the, uh, all it is really is this shaft is two inches higher up on the spindle itself, right? And that gets you your, you know, gets you your two inch drop. So that's all it is. So, like I said, I'm just going to loosely put everything on. Well, not loosely, but I'll get it on, um, but not permanent. Because once it's all cleaned up, done everything, we'll get new ball joints, new tie rods and stuff, and new wheel bearings and stuff. So, But I just want to do this so that I can get it together on its wheels and roll it around with that, without that Kirker tire. And actually, it'll help me set the, set the height and everything. Everything will be just right, and we'll replace all that stuff, make it good later. So... Um, that's about it. I just have to hook up this little fella. Hook him up quick there. Yep, and I'll just lock them down quick, just quick and easy. And then uh, I'll put that spindle back on quick. I'll uh, I'll whip up the other side and maybe I'll set these wheels on. I'll, get, I'll set it down to right height so you guys can kind of see how it sits. I think it's going to look uh, pretty cool. So we've got the wheels straight and uh, let's lower this baby down. So that's, yeah, so that's going to be roughly right height there. So we're looking good. I can, well, I can tell just by the bump stops, we got about three inches of up travel still. But I mean, it's going to be there, give or take a little. So, um, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, I like I like how it's turning out. So I think the next step now is I'm going to work on putting that steering column in the car. And then I'll see it sticking out the, the firewall a bit there. And then we can decide how we're going to do the shaft, and then we can actually throw some old steering wheel or something on it and steer it. Fortunately, we still got these uh, these ugly these ugly tires, but um, again, they're just temporary. We'll get some nice tires on this thing one day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, this this piece here, kind of a nice piece, going to make it real easy to so that clamps onto the column like that. It's going to make it real easy to get this column mounted in the car. Um, I need something down for this end as well, but it's no big deal. But what I'm going to do for now is, because I do know where this is going to be this way, because it's going to fit on the bottom of the dash there. So, um, so yeah, so I can go ahead and get this mounted in the car. I'm just going to center it in the, like with the center with the gauges. And it, and there is a spot in the floor where it's going to go through to the old spot. So we know where that's going to be. So that'll keep it straight. I'll know. So, so I'm going to go ahead and mount this piece in. <clears throat> That'll be the first thing, and then when I start fitting that column, make it easier to hold the column to get it to get it uh, the right depth and height, and get that all figured out. And uh, we'll get these links in and shoot. Hopefully, soon we'll have some steering. Because the original column was offset to the gauges just a little bit, I feel it has to like be in the way of the the switches and stuff. But I'll just confirm it. Got my mount. That's what it can be like. Wop, wop, hey. Okay, well, so definitely that's where it was. Kind of centered between the, uh, the ignition switch and that first switch there. That's more where it was for sure. Okay, so I'm thinking like that. Let me see if I can hold this. And like that. Let me see if I can, if I can tilt this baby. Yep. I think that's going to be down just a bit. Yeah, that's straight. I mean, that's how the original one was, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and mark that out and mount it there. I think we're good. All right. Oh, and then you can see this guy too. 
He does have a little adjustability, so I can shuttle it around just a little bit. But I'm going to go get my tape measure and make sure I got it the same distance. And then we'll, uh, we'll drill some holes, get this baby bolted up. You can see I got the, uh, got the mount in there, drilled and tapped. I'm going to go ahead and plunk this up in there. Definitely going to have to, yeah, definitely going to have to wedge that, tilt it down. That's no big deal. I might want to, I might want to space it down just a hair too, but we'll see about that too. Went ahead and took the bracket out and I just laid it on. Like I said, it fits perfectly because it's the exact same size, but I can uh, super adjust it. But I went ahead and cut a piece and then I went ahead and took my little things and I transferred. So I got some marks there. I'll drill so I can tap them and then this thing will be able to bolt so up. So you can see I got this baby uh, tapped out and I got the, uh, I use these little uh, stainless steel button heads, but got her bolted up there and I'll go ahead and bolt this in the car. All right, so you can see there I got that in. There's the column. You can tilt it, tilt it down. Seems good. Um, yeah, I like it. It still has adjustability to go in and out a little bit and stuff if need be, but I think, well, again, with the seats, I do have about a, an inch of, well, probably about an inch farther in if I want to, and then, uh, you know, I could come back an inch or two if I'd like as well, but it's, it depends on where the seat is. I think we're looking pretty good, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. Like I said, I think we'll be okay, and then I'll show you up front here. I went ahead and did install this guy onto the end of the column and it's looking pretty good so oh yeah so what i gotta do is i gotta i do gotta feed i got my d-rod i think i showed you guys that so i got some d-rod here and uh yeah i'm gonna feed that baby across through and then it's gonna come to a a support so i can redirect it up to there it's uh i think it's gonna work real good with uh not, like i said it just barely I can show you guys like it almost it almost makes it right you can see i just got a little little chunk of tubing here just to see but it almost makes it but i do got to get around that manifold a bit but uh that's no big deal i uh i was planning for that anyway so yeah so it's coming along i think that's all i got for tonight um i'll be back again tomorrow after work and hopefully we'll get this column fully installed and uh yeah and we'll go from there Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. What I got going on here is we're working on the steering link again. So we got the car mashed right down pretty much. It's as low as it'll go pretty much so that it's like bottomed out and hopefully it, uh, hope we never find ourselves in this situation. Um, so that I know this is going to be as high as it's going to be and I won't get into that, sh that steering shaft. So um, what I've decided to do is I did uh, go ahead and I found a little chunk of this uh, little chunk of this round stock here because I got to put this rod in that's going to be my support to redirect the uh, the steering shaft so what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to go ahead and drill and tap I got a my little tap here yeah I'm going to go ahead and drill and tap the end of this so that I can run that baby in there lock it down this will be the support to redirect that shaft a little you'll be able to put this anywhere you want and then I'll probably uh, notch a piece or something, you know, brace it up, make it look, you know, make it look hot roddy, make it look okay. So that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and get this end drilled. I got to drill it out just a teeny bit to get it to the tap drill size. And then uh, we'll go ahead and tap it. The, the proper way to do this is, uh, of course, with a lathe. And I don't have a lathe in my shop. I, uh, I keep looking at them, keep looking at them basically just too cheap to buy one but i definitely should buy one I, ha I have access to a lathe sometimes but i have to you know it's a it's a whole ordeal but this will work this uh it's just different right it's a way to do it but it's it's it's, it's not wrong it's just different Oh yeah, that's plenty. Just marked it. I just may as well not go more than I need. Just go ahead and tap this baby out, and we should be, we should be, uh, we should be laughing. So 
So I was having a heck of a time holding this thing. My vice wouldn't hold it. I, like I said, I was having a heck of a time holding this thing to tra tap it. So I've been mucking around. I don't know what I was going to do. I, I welded it to something, whatever. But I'm literally, here's, what, here's the point I'm at. So I'm, I, I got my pipe wrench in the vise. And, and this is where I'm at now. And it, but the, to be honest, it's actually working awesome. If I can go this way, I have to back it off. I got to go to this side, right? So, like I said, it's actually working real good. And I'm just about done. So, yeah, so, like I said, all I did was clean it up here now. Washed up my stuff, but there we go. Um, and then, yeah, this will be able to, you know, it'll allow me to pick a height, which, you know, which is kind of, it is what it is. But once you pick your height, it's good forever, hopefully. But, anyways, you can pick my height, and then the uh, offset and stuff, I'll have to decide that when I, uh, when I weld it on. There we are. We'll go ahead and get that shaft lined up and get this mounted in there. Okay, let me show you guys where we got with this thing so far. Um, so what I got here is I got the rod end tacked in there. Um, you can see you can see that it's real close down in there, but uh, not to worry because uh, two things. That's as low as that arm's going to go. But I also remember I do have a little bit of adjustability. I can lift that up a little bit. So. Okay, you can see there, got my other joint on there. Now it'll just go there, connect those two. Um, pretty simple. I just have to measure that rod. I'm just being real cautious because, you know, that little rod's expensive. I don't want to muck it up and uh, have to buy another one. So anyways, no, no big deal. We'll uh, go ahead and keep on pounding away on this and we'll get it. Uh, that, that's easy now, getting that little rod measured and put in there. And then I, will, I will put a brace down to the frame off of that guy too just to rigid it up but once it's fully welded it's going to be uh it's going to be plenty strong all right so you can see i got it in there it went and made the shaft um i mean it's not done i mean it's it's a ways from the end and obviously i still have to weld that on brace it i do have to permanently secure the bottom of the you know the bottom of the steer column is just sitting in the in the little notch there but that's uh looking pretty good i'll show you guys but you can see there i think it'll work just fine anyways happy how that's turned out it should uh, should clear everything so one other thing i want to show you guys i've been working on this well i haven't worked on it in a while but you guys can see i have this old cab over so i uh but i got to get back to work on that um, because I want to, because it's cool and I want to get it done. But, uh, another thing is too, I don't know if you guys noticed my big old spikes here for the lug nuts. So you can see here, I'm going to run out of shirts. This litter, this shirt here, both of these, that's all from that. So <laughs> that's another good reason why I should, uh, get this thing mobile, get it down on the ground. I won't be tearing my shirts up on my, on my lug nuts here, but I got thinking about this car, the, uh, steering column i got thinking the adapter that it came with looked a lot like the one on that 4x4 i have so went out there took a quick look so then I, I decided i'll pop that steering wheel off and i'll uh i'll bring it into here and try it and wouldn't you know there we are it actually uh i think it actually looks really good in there i think it suits the let me get in here I think it suits this car. You can tilt, you know, still does its thing. I don't know. I think it looks real good. I'm not sure what, what route we're going to go, but, you know, that's the adapter it came with. So um, it fits the, fits the steering wheel. But anyways, there we go. Let's see here. I got to put a brace on my support for that hind joint. I got to make a nice little brace for that. So basically I'm going to, I'm going to build a, <clears throat> A nice plate that goes down in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build it one hand here. I'm gonna go ahead and build it three inches up, so it'll kind of be three inch by three inch. A uh, nice little arc there. We'll we'll uh, we'll get it on some plate and show you what that's gonna look like. Use this little chunk of well, that's my template that I made. I'm gonna head on over to here, <clears throat> and I'm gonna trace it out in some quarter inch. Um, 
yeah, I'll just trace it out on there, cut that out, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it to make it uh, to make it fast. There we go. So I got that piece cut out, and I drilled some speed holes in it because, as you guys know, everyone knows, if you want something to be fast, you got to have holes in it. So, so yeah. So I put some speed holes in it, and uh, that'll go in just like that. So that'll go right in there. I'll go ahead and tack that baby in there. So that's uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. Let's uh, just tack that in there. Once I pull everything out, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and weld her up. I think that's all I got for this video. Unfortunately, I did have a a bit of a vehicle emergency, so I'll uh, that'll be in the next video here. But it's something I got to I got to do. So I got to get on that and uh, get that get that situation fixed up, and and hopefully we'll uh, you know we'll get back on this car. We'll keep on trucking. I do believe also too. Uh, I might I might be having some uh, wheels ordered up here soon to keep the progress on this going. So looking forward to get them, get rid of these ugly wheels, sh show you the direction that this car is going. And uh, I think they'll, I think they'll look good and it'll look pretty tough. So if you watched, I appreciate watching and uh, uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. <music>